I don't remember if it's a good hand to keep. But we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way, but I am sure that I'll draw the right stuff because that's how magic works. All the I time. hope I do. Oh, I'm screwed. Chance. Everybody else that? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, ready. Chulain. And then we have Marin. And then Yidris. Draw for turn. I'm going to play Zoe. a Kissing Quagmire. And I'll pass. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, Cascade Bluffs into a Mana Vault. Nice. And then I'm going to get Probe uh, Matt Dog. See what he has in hand. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I'll look away. Head down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I know how Get Throw works. All right, cool. Draw. Oh, boy. All right, go. Okay, draw for turn. Land. Get Bird of Paradise. Pass the turn. Okay, and draw. Probably should mulligan again, but oh well. We'll go ahead and play Forest Tapping for Elfish Mystic Pass. Oh, I'm sorry, that's me. Yeah, all uh, good. And draw. Um, play a Misty Rainforest, cast a Blood Pet, and let's get rid of this Rainforest and see... Is it just my actual, is it just the color of mine, or are those? Uh, there's, is there no color? Is that's a proxy of Misty Rainforest, right? The Rainforest, yes, is uh, okay. a piece of no, paper. no, quite no problems. I just was wondering if I was having a stroke. No, <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing because, like, you look at the board and like you're playing with somebody. And it's like, all right, that card's real. That card's definitely like just a uh, like permanent marker on a card. And is that uh, is that black and white, or am I dying? The cost, the cost of the uh, cost of Misty Rainforest is is gone up substantially in the last few weeks. I have one. It, and that's super, it. I have a couple of them, not for every green deck that I have, because I think every deck that I have is green. Um, let's <laughs> yeah. do the Overgrown Tomb on tap down to thirty-seven. I'll cast a Viscerous here with the other black man, and I'll pass. Hmm. Breeding pool. Then let's do the, uh, no, no, float, two blue and two colorless, one blue and two colorless for my frantic search. Nice. Draw two and then I discard two, right? Uh, by discarding... Sure. No, I floated two blue. That was stupid. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. You never know what it's going to be, though. Was that an ad nauseum that you just pitched? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let's see here. All right, let's go. Well, I guess I should ask, since one of them was ad nauseum, what was the other card that you pitched? Vandalplast. Okay. going to cast Gyre Sage, and then I will pass the turn. And tap, and draw. Ooh, what do I want to do? Nothing. Probably nothing at so I would say. Nothing um, at all. Uh, <laughs> feels like I'm wearing. Go ahead for a Reliquary Tower. Tap for three to play Wood Elves. Uh, nice. When Wood Elves comes into play, search your library for a forest card and put it into play. Shuffle your library afterwards. And that will be my pass. Okay. I'll untap and draw. Um, gosh, that kind of stinks, but you do what you got to <laughs> do in life. I'm going to sacrifice this Blood Pet for a black. I'm going to cast a Cultivate. Um, and we'll go... Grab a can of I'll go with 
Swamp taps, force to my hand, and I'll play it as my land for turn, and then I'm going to pass. Jeez. Foil, secure, tried elders are $12 US. I definitely believe it. I'm just going to worldly tutor. Bloody That's Grove. Right. Save some time. And so I got to shuffle. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, Matt. Off to you. Okay, I'm just, uh. So I'm going for a Sylvan Ranger. Whose turn is it right now? It's Matt. It's, it's, uh, it's going to my turn. I just, uh, Whirly Tutored for oh, a okay. Sylvan Ranger. Swamp Shadow, untap. I will pass. I will search for a forest card, a basic land card. Choose forest. Uh, I'm gonna go here. I will pass the turn. I will untap. Draw. I am going to play Sea of Cloud. And I am going to tap for five to bring in Chulain. That seems Chulain. very good. And then I will pass the turn. I'll untap and draw. Hmm. Um. Let's get. Marin out there. Uh, and I'll go ahead and sacrifice the Viscerous here. Scry one. One experience counter. I'll tuck that one on bottom, and then I'm just going to move to my end step and reanimate the Viscerous here. The combo. The combo. <laughs> oh, fine. Yep. No payoffs, but that is a combination of cards that does one thing. Well, I'd assume that you guys have answers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I'm going to go infinite. No, I'm going to go finite next turn. Go finite. Very finite. <laughs> he's, going, he's going finite. Get him. <laughs> so, is, I think we see that's turn. Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. Cavern of Souls. So we'll say wizard. Roll out the wizard. So now we just have to block him? Yeah. Good luck doing that. Does he have trample? I think yes. He does have trample. And what is he again? Five. He's a 5-4 five, five, trample. Oof. Guess I'll have to soak that up with something. He's an ogre um, wizard, is that correct? Mm, yes. I'm going to cast Curse of Swine for 3. And I target Marin... Yidris and Shalane. Fuck is this? Um, I'll sacrifice Marin in response to Scry One. Oh, for fuck's sakes! You get a piggy. Oink oink. Mm, great. I'll keep it on top. There, Lord of the Rings card. Lord of the Rings card. That's obscure. <laughs> Fast. So time. it's uh, what what power? One one. Two two. Two two. Big, big, oh right, big, I get a, a little piggy boy. Yeah, and then... big, big, big. No, you don't because you sacrifice response. Oh, you're right. I don't need that little thing. I boy. will then draw. Because there are commanders and it's a replacement effect. Oh, yeah. 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 Do we still get yeah. it or no? Um, no, I don't think you get it. No, you'd have to put it in the exiled zone. Yeah. It's a replacement. You are welcome to exile it. Yeah, you're more than welcome for a 2 2. No. Or a boar. But in my mind, they're pigs. What? So do we not get a pig? No. No piggy. No, no. Oh, Lord of the Rings goes away. Um, I'll it's... play Glacial Fortress. It is not mad at that. Um, one, two, three, four. I'll play an Abundance. That's a good card. Damn it, Matt. Why'd you have to ruin my fun? 
Yeah, what's up with that, man? And then I will pass the turn. I could. I wanted to give you some piggies. But, uh, apparently not. Untap and draw. I am going to evoke a knight incarnate. Um, when it leaves the battlefield, all creatures are going to get minus three, minus three until end of turn. So all our creatures are getting minus three, minus three? Or... Uh, when it leaves the battlefield. Oh, okay. Yes. It's being evoked, so it's going to happen right now, and I'm also going to sacrifice the Viscerous here in response to that to scry, and I'll keep it on top, I guess. My cards and my things. Um, I'm going to tap the Elvish Mystic for a green. Pro play, yes. And I'm going to play Worldly Tutor. Yes! Oh my god, amazing. Um, let's see what I want to go and grab. So, um, And Brian, when you're done resolving that, I have nothing else on my turn. I'm going to pass to you, Dean. All right. So, speaking of stacks, uh, I found the best card for my uh, year old Mistalker. It sort of stacks. It's uh, amazing. I'll, I'll show you in a second here. And I'll pay forward to untap this piece of poo. And, uh, I'll pass turn. So, I was thinking of Brian when I found this card. I was like, yes, Brian's gonna love this card. I'll check it out. And then I grab my Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, I like the City of Solitudes. Yes. Yeah. And what does it do? It's very risky in a lot of situations, but if you don't need to worry about other people, like, comboing off, rock it. Right? Yeah, Each player can only cast spells and activate abilities on their turn. The good part is, though, the amount of times that I've played that card and then someone has been like, all right, I'm going to crack a fetch land on your end I'm like, oh, no, you're not, though, because of this card. <laughs> it's like it's semicolons. Like, I mean, colons. It's your turn, Brian. What up? Okay. I'd like to recognize the fact that uh, Dan is also playing an experience-based uh, commander. I also noted this as we put our things. I was like, oh, yeah, Azuri, nice. It's like, it was like uh, four years ago. <laughs> happy coincidence. Um, I'll play a hollowed fountain and lose to life. Um, oh, what do I want to do here? So many choices. I'm going to tap for six and I'll play my Consecrated Sphinx. Why don't you tell us a tale, Brian? <laughs> You're going to what now, my friend? I'm Sphinx. playing a Consecrated Sphinx. That seems good. Sphinx. You, might deck, you might deck yourself here. By all accounts. Well, it is a may draw, so. Um, still deck yourself. And I'll pass. Well, I mean, if, if you're going to say no to the trigger, though, like, why did you even, like, play the card? <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, I th I am going to draw a card. Would I will like draw, draw two cards. Oh, I like that. Guess um, we need a wheel now. I'm, why are you saying that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast Survival of the Fittest, and then I'm going to Beast within that Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, rude. I mean, that's the thing about Consecrated Sphinx, is that you're paying six to draw two cards. That's how it reads. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, um, I see how I'm this assuming, is. I'm assuming that's it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see yeah, how this is. <laughs> I don't want you to abundance oh. two times every turn. I guess I did kill you last turn when you had just three life too. <laughs> I, I mean, that I was. Get, a... I get that. <laughs> you can go. Did you say you're passing, Dean? Oh, for fuck's sakes, yeah. Uh, Matt, your turn. Matt, if you're talking, you're muted. I think his fire alarm just started going off. I think that was, I thought that was Dean. That was oh. me. Still going off. Hold on. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> hey Matt, if you're talking, you're muted. You're just stopping me from playing other fun cards right now. Blowing me? Up, yeah, blowing up my Contra Kids Sphinx. I see how this is. What could that possibly stop you from doing? I know. Lots. <laughs> I, I could just have so many more cards. I could have had another card on his or two cards on his turn. Yeah, yeah but then you're putting me in a position oh, where if I yes, draw... Yes, I can hear you again, Matt. Okay. You're very um, quiet. Let me turn you up. Turn. I'm going 
to play uh, Wild Beastmaster. I get an experience counter. I will play Exang Kodal. I will get an experience counter. And I will draw four. Ooh, that was not one. And I will move to combat. And I will put all the two plus one plus one counters on Wild Beastmaster. And I think I need defense. Oh, oh. Defense plan. Defense, I'll pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. Um, I am going to say. Um, I'm back. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Did you put out the fire? No, I yelled at the people. <laughs> um, oh. I'm going to say non-land. That seems good. And <laughs> I will pull into taxes. Oh, Ugh, okay. <laughs> this is a true lead deck. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Where else should I have him? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I will Jul play. Julian, let, let me know when it's my turn. I'm playing Mike Tyson's punch out. <laughs> oh. So you're gonna have to remind me how that reads. At my end step, I discard my hand. Is that how it works? Uh, so flash at the beginning of your end step, draw seven cards. Um, each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by seven. Oh, okay. So it's in our end step. It happens. Yeah. And and that's a creature. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm okay with that. It, but it's not on the battlefield yet, right? No. No. Kind of annoying, but. Uh... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tap for three to play a Ristic Study. That seems good. Uh, <laughs> are you gonna kill it? <laughs> like. <laughs> Um, I will tap four for a um, circuitous route. Circuitous route? Yeah. Circuitous. Um, yes, that. Search your library for up to two land, basic land cards and or gate cards and put them onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle your library. You gotta put in those, you know, those sweet dual land gates. No. Yeah, definitely the plateau guild gate. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's outside of your color identity, though. I mean, it comes in tapped anyway, so... Um, Tropical Island Gilgate. It's amazing. I will grab a p island yeah. and a plains and oh whoops, not a solemn simulacrum, room, and that's gonna be a pass. Okay, untap and draw. Hmm. Uh. I'll pay three for Stinkweed Imp. Stinkweed. And three. I'll pay one to use the survival ability. To oh, pitch. wait a minute. You're playing um, the... Are you going to pay one for Rustic Study? Uh, no, I won't. Okay, drop. I, I just crows and grip that thing. Okay. I thought that's what he was about to say, like, oh, I'm just going to cross and grip it. I'd be like, no, though. Just don't. <laughs> I need it so badly. Um, I'm going to use it to pitch uh, Zulaport Cutthroat. I'm going to get a Birds of Paradise, and I'm going to play that Birds of Paradise. That's it. Um, assuming that that is actually a card in my deck, which I'm almost certain I remember it is, yes. If it's not, I'll get some other one drop. Yep, there we go. Birds of Paradise. Boink. Draw. Okay. Go to combat. Come at, uh... Oh, Brian, I didn't pay, by the way, for my draw there. Uh, you don't... It's not on draw, it's when you play no. a spell. Don't worry, I'll be playing spells. Here. Have a Yidra for yeah. five. <laughs> who, who are you hitting? You. Okay. You're the only... Target right now, anyway. Okay, down to 33. Let me know if I'm dead. Well, we'll find out, okay. So, I'll make a green-blue, these two. 
playing a Deathrite Shaman, but... Are you paying one? Gonna, hey, hold on, I gotta Cascade first. But the answer is no, for to for both of them. So you're, you're gonna end up drawing two, okay? Okay. Look like I'm at CMC zero. Got the ancestral whatever. Oh, there it is. Imagine that. I shall draw three cards. That seems good. You're right. See, so yeah, I'd be drawing. Right. I'd be drawing like a whole bunch of cards right now, if my concentrated Sphinx is still out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, boom, boom, with your rhythmic study. <laughs> Land for turn. Abundance. I'm not sad. Let's see here. Um, what else can I do? I still got a blue floating here. Uh, let's uh, chain of vapor with my blue floating. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna chain of vapor your rhythmic study. Um, are you gonna pay one? Uh, no, but I'm also gonna cascade first. You should hundred percent sack a land and put that Yidris back in his hand. Well, trigger stall in the stack though. But... For what is it? Uh, Chim you you have to sack a land, and then if you do, you can bounce something I have to my hand. Oh well. yeah, I'll gladly do that. I'll get rid of a forest. Yeah, okay, a chrome box coming in. And so I would draw two cards, correct? To a lot, or yeah. Yes. They both would resolve. Chrome Mox, I gotta imprint something. Uh, um, let's imprint... Two? Uh, mm, let's imprint... Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna imprint. I need to print something. You don't have to. Do I not? No, yeah, nope. I don't. That's why it's even better. Alright, sweet. So uh, you'd bounce the address to back to my hand there. Yep. Okay. It's fine. All right. I still got a shit ton of mana here. Um. Hmm. What do I want to do now? That's a question. Huh. Hmm. Hey, uh, I'm going to activate Deathrite Shaman, and I'm going to exile your land in your uh, bin, Brian. Sure. And that's going to make, that's going to give me one mana of any color. So, I shall make it a green. Wait, didn't you just play that this turn? Uh, or that... Him? Oh, never mind, yeah. Sorry, I'm bad. Never mind, you can keep that thing. Good. Okay, let's uh do... Do this. Let's do uh, intuition for three. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Got to cascade first. Sure. Oh, that's a fucking shitty one to cascade into. Bam, terror teeter. I'm not gonna cast that. Okay. Because it will go away. What three cards should I get? card should I get? That is the question. I haven't played this enough to remember. Mm-hmm. No, that must be one of them. What, do you have a bunch it... of foil birds, Dan? Uh, no, Jeremy doesn't. He's very proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Jeremy? I got the 7th edition foil blood pit right here, buddy. It's our uh, our mutual obsession. Very oh, nice. Foil birds of paradise. I uh, just seventh edition foils in general. Oh, that's the first uh, first uh, set that they did uh, foils, right? Uh, yeah, the first core set to have them. I think Urza's Legacy was the first set to have them. I see that. All right, so I will let Brian make the choice. You so. I, I chose Aetherflux Reservoir, Utopia Sprawl, and or Carpet of Flowers. Go you, can choose, you can choose one, it goes in my hand, the rest go in the graveyard. And what do they all do? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, what, what do the other two do, because I know what Aetherflux does. Uh, Carpet of Flowers is I get X mana or X amount of islands on the table. 
and the other one is I enchant a land and it taps for an additional uh, of a chosen color I choose when it comes in. Do you want to see it? You can have that that one. Is yeah. this one? Yeah, you can have that. There. All right, he's gonna time twister. <laughs> only this, only following this deck has a two thousand dollar card. All right, we'll cast that. I'll say it can tap for block too, and then I get to cast gate again. How when that's dead? Hmm. It's ten in turn. Ten in turn. Oh. It's like a static effect. Mm, Lotus Petal sounds fun. You're three mana, my choice, eh? Huh. Actually, first I'm gonna. I'm gonna pay two life. I'm gonna Noxious Revival. But I gotta Cascade for zero first. Oh, uh, yeah. You <laughs> more zero drops? Oh, yeah. yeah. What you got? Well, we'll get there. If you don't hit an LED, I'm gonna be mad at you. Come on. He's gonna hit the one that, uh... Mox draw Opal? Three. Oh. No, I already hit the one that draws three. Okay. However, I'm gonna put the one that draws three on top of my deck. Alright. What else can I do here? Well then. You missed quite a bit, Sherman. This is, uh, this is, I think, uh, our fourth game? Third game. I'll, Third game. Yeah. I'll, I'll sack the pedal. Or three... I'll say three black. And then I'll do a Necropotence. Cascade yeah. into Ancestral Vision. That's pretty much it. Oh, you still have a chance. Yeah, you do. Do you have anything else I can root that will make any difference? No, I do not. Okay. So I got a discard here. Ugh. Alright, Matt, you can go now. Holy cow, okay. Yeah, I got that million life in that bro. I did okay. not, uh. I have some good hits there. Oh, untap. I'll draw for Sherman. So, how do you win, Dean, with the own damage, or. It's, it's, well, did you see many spells I cast that turn? Yes. <laughs> that theory, that's answer to that question. In theory, if I had, uh, actually, uh, hit one I needed to hit, uh, you would have been stormed out. What do you mean I by stormed out? Uh, oh, I, got I got tendrils in here. I thought I saw tendrils off of your cascades. I'm gonna tendrils cast silver, silver and offering for five. That's a so, good one. yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, you know, Brian, you're a good dude, right? So I'm gonna let you have. What do you want? Do you want the X one one? Do you want five one ones or one five five? Um, I'll take X one ones. Okay, so you get five one ones. Oh, uh, you wanna give, you wanna give me one ones there? Uh, no, and then um, and then I'll let uh, Dan. You can have a five five. Oh, okay. Five five three folks, uh, uh, and I get a five five and five one ones. So, Brian, there's also a card called Mind's Desire, and it has Storm on it. So yeah, essentially, that's, that's, uh... for your Storm count, you get to cast it or copy a bunch of times. You essentially you shuffle your deck, peel the top card, goes on goes on the deck, and then you do it again. So you essentially get like you get to throw like ten cards on the board. So Mind's Desire is also not a win con, though. Like, the things that you get off the Mind's Desire. Like, yeah. you're still not answering this question. Well, yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> I get some. You're definitely hiding some. Yeah, either that, or people just get bored of you playing, and then they just concede. Um, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to choose to put 
seven plus one plus one counters on a wild beastmaster. That seems really good. And then she'll trigger. Oh, order the triggers first, so that the Azuri resolves before hers, and so then all the other creatures get plus eight plus eight. Uh, sure did. Attacks. Um, yeah, they're all gonna come at you, Dean. Hmm. Look at those things. Um, they're all plus. Uh, she's uh eight eight, eight eight nine nine and eleven eleven. Okay, I'll block. The, I'll block the eleven eleven. How's that sound? Sounds good. And uh, take seventeen then. Oh, that's a big swing. Mm-hmm. And then uh, that's it for my turn. Okay, I'll that's pretty un good turn. untap. Draw. I don't really need that. I it's prefer kind of squirrels over elves. Matt, I definitely needed to hit a wheel there, though. Yeah. yeah that's, uh... Which I didn't get. Hurting for you. Yeah. <laughs> um forest forest one two three. Bubble bubble. Um Please I will play Seedborn him. Muse. That's a really good card, I hear. Oh, I actually drew whoops. Well oh well. Um and then I will one two yeah, I played land for turn. Um pass the turn. You have definitely forgotten that abundance a million times. Sure have actually, and it's like one of my best cards in here. I think, and I the think first time I I've used it. <laughs> not use survival. I'll draw a card for turn. <sighs> Dean, how many cards you got in hand? Seven. It's full grip. That's a lot of cards. Um, nice, nice, do it. Yeah, I did draw it. I'm gonna cast it, but I have no way to sacrifice it. Let the, but yeah, flow, let the heat flow through you. Um, my slicer and I guess yeah, you got that uh, necro, huh? Let's hurt that life total. Um, we're coming at you for five. Dean. Tree folk getting in there. I don't think I'll be using my necro anytime soon. It's a juncture. I'm going to make it even harder to do that. Uh, and I'll pass. Let's let's see what Dean does this round. He's gonna delve an extra turn. If only. We're just gonna sidecrift. How's that sound? Okay. Like, are you overloading it? Yeah. Um, oh. I will tap to. Or is, are you doing something? Hmm. Uh. I'm sorry, Brian, you have responses before I do. Um, I will tap two and I will Domevin Veto. Oh, well, there you go. I think I'm dead now. Hopefully. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. You can go. I have to wait. I'm just going to exile uh, seven cards and die. There you go. What? Okay. Don't, you don't have to kill yourself. Oh, no, this game, no, this this game is dead for you, Driss. I can. Uh, I think I can kill the board here. No, I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm dead anyway. Do we want? Do we want to die from combat damage or infinite turns? Um, the second one. Infinite turns. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I select uh, uh, damage. <laughs> <laughs> so it's everybody's uh, your top. Wait, hold on, Brian. You put on tap with the seaborm using anything to do? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. That, that uh, changes my. That changes my opinion. Not right now, uh, I can't. No. They, uh, let's see, Dan, you've got two man untapped. Yep. And cards in hand. Uh, I have got three. Three, okay. Well, let's do it this way, because I think that's safer. I can definitely tell cast... you that's not a member of Summer. <laughs> I'm going to cast Overwhelming Stampede. Well, that's a good one. That um, I guess uh, goes to Brian first for responses. 
Um, what's it's just boosting your creatures' damage, correct? Yeah, until end of turn, creatures you get gain trample and get X plus X, or X is the greatest power among creatures you control, which is currently um, eight. Yep, no, that's fine. Okay. Uh, no responses, Dan. No, no responses. Okay. So now all my creatures are plus eight, plus eight. I'll uh, move to combat. Yep. I got the I, I got the big old F six for you. I got nothing I can do. Okay. F six. <laughs> I will put an extra seven counters on Wild Beastmaster. Five plus two, so six plus one. Um, I'll move to combat. Um, Wild Beastmaster triggers. Mm -hmm. uh, all my creatures are currently getting six, 13. So it was, sorry, uh, it was an eight, eight. So it's uh, now eight, nine. 15, 21, 22, 23, 23. So all my creatures are getting twice, 23 plus 23. With trample. With trample, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I can only give my I can only give my guys indestructible, but other than that, that's too much damage for me to. Because even... I have five, I have five squirrels. Yeah. That, kind of, that are, and I can swing. Oh yeah, you got the five squirrels. Yeah, you definitely got more than enough. Yeah, yeah. GG. Okay. Good game. I got time for one more if you guys want to. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can do. No. Is it okay if I play my Golos deck? Like, is, well, that that's not gonna offend anybody. No. No. Matt, I'm already offended. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I'm gonna go back to Tuvasa again. That deck needs more practice.